welcome to hima tutorials in today's class i am going to teach most important four marks questions in probability this is the continuation of the previous class okay let's start the session coming to the given question find p of a complement plus p of b complement if p of a union b equal to 0.65 and p of a intersection b equal to 0.15 Coming to the solution, we need to find P of A complement plus P of B complement. Okay, P of A complement plus P of B complement. Okay, we can write this P of A complement as one minus P of A, and P of B complement as one minus P of B. Okay, here one plus one is two. If we take minus common, we get P of A plus P of B, okay. Already we know the formula. P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B, okay. From this formula we can write P of A plus P of B is equal to P of A union B. If we come this side, then it will become plus P of A intersection B, okay. Now substitute this P of A union B plus P of A intersection B in place of P of A plus P of B. Then we get what two minus of P of A union B plus P of A intersection B. Right? In the given question, they given the values of P of A union B and P of A intersection B. Okay, substitute two minus of zero point six five plus zero point one five. Okay, which is equal to two minus zero point eight. Okay, that means one point two. Therefore, P of A complement plus P of B complement is equal to one point two. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question, A, B, C are three horses in race. The probability of A to win the race is twice that of B. And probability of B is twice of C. What are probabilities of A, B, and C to win the race? Okay. Coming to the solution. Let A, B, C are the events that the winning probabilities. of horses a b c respectively okay in the given question what they have mentioned the probability of a to win the race is twice that of b that means p of a is equal to two times of p of b okay and probability of b is twice of c probability of b is twice of c okay let it be 1 and this is 2 okay here what we have p of b equal to 2 times of p of c okay substitute p of b in this equation 1 we get what p of a is equal to 2 times of 2 p of c okay we get what p of a is equal to 4 times of p of c let it be 3 Okay. If a comma b comma c are mutually disjoint, okay, then a union b equal to s and a intersection b is equal to five. We already know sum of probabilities is equal to one. That means p of a plus p of b plus P of C is equal to one. Here, what is P of A? Four P of C. And what is P of B? Two P of C. And written P of C as it is. Okay, four plus two six plus one seven. That means seven into P of C is equal to one. Implies P of C is equal to one by seven. Okay. Now, what is P of B? P of B equal to 
2 into P of C. Right? What is the value of P of C we get? 1 by 7. Substitute over here. 2 into 1 by 7 is equal to 2 by 7. Okay? Now what is P of A? P of A is equal to 4 into P of C. Right? That means 4 into 1 by 7 is equal to 4 by 7. That means the value of P of A is 4 by 7. P of B is 2 by 7 and P of C is 1 by 7. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question. A speaks truth in 75% of cases and B in 80% cases. Find the probability that their statements do not match about an incident. Coming to the solution. What they have given in the question? A speaks truth in 75% cases whereas B in 80% cases. Okay. That means probability of A speaks truth. That means P of A is equal to 75 by 100. Okay. And if probability of A speaks truth is 75 by 100, then probability of A speaks false, which is denoted by P of A complement is 25 by 100. Right? Now coming to B. B speaks truth in 80% cases. That means, Probability of B speaks truth. That means P of B is equal to 80 by 100. Okay. If probability of B speaks truth is 80 by 100. Then probability of B speaks false. Okay. That means P of B complement is equal to 20 by 100. Okay, I hope it is clear. What they asked us to find? Probability that their statements do not match about an incident. Okay. Probability that their statements do not match. That means P of a intersection B complement plus P of A complement intersection B. That means P of A into P of B complement plus P of A complement into P of B. Okay. What is P of A value? 75 by 100. What is P of B complement? 20 by 100. Okay. What is P of A complement? 25 by 100. And what is P of B? 80 by 100. Okay. Now we get what? 75 into 20. That means 1500 by 100 into 100. 10,000. Plus 25 into 80. This is 2000 by 10,000. Okay. 1500 plus 2000 is what? 3500 by 10,000. These two zeros, these two zeros get cancelled. Okay. 5, 7, ja and 5, 2, ja 0. That means 7 by 20. Probability that their statements do not match about an incident is 7 by 20. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question. A problem in calculus is given to two students A and B whose chances of solving it are 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. Find the probability that the problem being solved if both of them try independently. Okay. Coming to the solution. Problem 
probability of solving a problem by a that means p of a is equal to 1 by 3 okay and the probability of solving a problem by b that means p of b is equal to 1 by 4 we need to find p of a union b okay what is the formula for p of a union b p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b okay that means p of a plus p of b minus p of a into p of b because both are independent see what is p of a 1 by 3 and what is p of b 1 by 4 and this is 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 okay that means we get 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12 see here the lcm is what 12 that means 4 plus 3 minus 1 okay 4 plus 3 is 7 7 minus 1 6 6 by 12 6 1 the 6 2 ja. that means 1 by 2 okay that means the probability that problem being solved if both of them try independently is 1 by 2. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question. Bag B1 contains 4 white balls and 2 black balls. Whereas bag B2 contains 3 white and 4 black balls. A bag is drawn at random and a ball is chosen at random from it. Then what is the probability that the ball drawn is white? Okay. Coming to the solution. In bag B1, there are 4 white and 2 black balls. Suppose this is bag B1 and this is bag B2. Okay. White ball, black ball. How many white are there? 4 white and 2 black. Okay, and in bag B2, we have 3 white and 4 black. Okay, let E1 and E2 be the events of selecting bag B1 and B2. Okay, that means we get P of E1 is equal to 1 by 2. And similarly, P of E2 is equal to 1 by 2. P of E1 is the probability of selecting bag B1. Here bag B1 is only one bag is there. And total how many bags are there? 2. That means 1 by 2. Similarly for bag B2. Okay. Now let W be the Probability of selecting white ball. Okay. Now see P of W by E1. That means probability of selecting white ball from bag B1. In bag B1, how many white balls are there? 4. And in bag B1, how many total balls are there? 4 plus 2, 6. Okay. Similarly, P of W by E2. Okay. In bag B2, how many white balls are there? 3. Okay. And in bag B2, how many total balls are there? 3 plus 4, 7. Okay. That means P of W by E1 equal to 4 by 6 and P of W by E2 equal to 3 by 7. Now probability that the ball drawn is white is given by P of W equal to P of W intersection E1 plus P of W intersection E2. By the multiplication theorem of probability, we have P of A intersection B equal to P of B into P of A by B. Okay. 
that means we get p of w equal to p of e1 into p of w by e1 plus p of e2 into p of w by e2 okay what is the value of p of e1 1 by 2 and what is the value of p of w by e1 4 by 6 plus what is the value of p of e2 1 by 2 and p of w by e2 is 3 by 7 okay see 2 2 ja this is 2 3 ja this 2 this 2 gets cancelled that means we get 1 by 3 plus 3 by 14 okay if we take lcm over here we get 42 see 14 plus 9 that means 23 by 42 okay that means the probability that the ball drawn is white is 23 by 42. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. With this, we completed important 4 marks questions in probability. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Hima Tutorials. Thank you. Thank you.